Anyone want ASAP Rocky? ASAP Rocky in the house! ASAP Rocky! Boom! Go on you! ASAP Rocky! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! ASAP yeah. Rocky in the house, boy! Hey, <laughs> Who's that? I have to wear my lipstick. Ah, uh, yeah! <laughs> Now I know y'all niggas probably wondering why is there almost about hundreds of people screaming at me thinking I'm ASAP Rocky, you know what I mean? The ASAP Rocky. Well, <laughs> it's a long story. Let's back it all up. <sighs> yes, I'm going down Tokyo, bro. <laughs> By myself, too. Y'all down. This is literally my first time ever even seeing snow. So I have to go outside real quick and just look at it, bro. Just to see how it look. You know what I mean? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but I live in the Bahamas. The coldest weather I ever felt in my life, bro, for 70 degrees. This is what? 30, 20 degrees, I'm like, oh hell no. I don't know if I can live in something like this, bro. But this is literally my first time ever seeing snow. <laughs> That's my first time ever seeing snow, first time ever touching snow. And we just kind of like got the snowstorm over right now. It's beautiful though, you know what I mean? Something I never experienced. But hey, I'm finally experiencing life. You know, something different than what I usually feel. We are Canada, bro. Next stop is Japan. <laughs> I would lay back in the snow, but it ain't that deep, bro. Oh, it's cool. Lots of snow. Uh -huh. What is it, like what, 20, 30 degrees now? Mm, I'll tell you the exact. Right now, it's Toronto minus six. Minus six? Yeah. <laughs> minus six and degrees. It feels, feels like minus 15. Damn. That's how it is out here. Snow is beautiful to me though. Yeah? <laughs> to me, yeah. First time I seen it, it looked, oh, it looked yeah. good to me. The first time I came here too, I felt the way you felt. <laughs> it, was, it was really cold. Where are you from? Yeah. Sudan. Sudan. You're coming to visit or? Uh... I'm not actually staying in Canada. I got a layover until tomorrow. I'm going to Japan actually. Oh, you're going to Japan? Yeah. Oh, nice. 19 hour layover. Because of the bad weather, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess that is of the layover, yeah. So we are in this Uber right now. I'm about to head um, to Playhouse Tattoos. That's where I'm about to do my first, I guess the first thing I'm about to do for this trip. You know what I mean? I know it's dark, y'all can't see me right now, but it's cool. But yeah, that's the first thing I'm about to do. I'm about to get this, this hand tattoo, bro. You know what I mean? Been wanting it for a long while, but didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it uh, in the Bahamas anywhere. So I guess Canada was the place. <laughs> this pain will be fun. Y'all don't know. <laughs> Cold, bro. But it's right, you know what I mean? Getting to experience things, I, I, I usually, I don't usually experience on the regular, so it's different.
Yeah. Okay, uh, it's currently, what time is it? It's currently 3.58. It's currently 3.58 a.m. I'm in Toronto, Canada at the moment. I'm in my layover hotel, you know what I mean? Uh, instead of staying in the airport for 19 hours, I just run in a hotel. And to be honest, this hotel is kind of good. This hotel is kind of good. If you ask me, let me show you real quick. We got the view. Check out the view. You understand? You see sunlight? Ah! Hey, the view looking kind of good. Look all the snow, bro. But today, check this nigga. This nigga got the worst job in American history. Hey, oh, they're cold, bro. Today, nigga, it's snow. Hey, this is the first day, like I said many times before. This is the first time in my life I ever seen snow. And this was no normal kind of snow, bro. Even the people in Canada told me, like, I just can't forget my tattoo, um, hand tattoo. I talked to the tattoo artist. I talked to the taxi man when driving back home. He told me, he was like, bro, this, this, this weather right now, this ain't normal. I literally walking outside and the snow was coming to my cars. Right now, bro. Canada is just stormed right out. You got a view? You got a bed? This room? I ain't got this room big as hell. Let me show y'all the room, bro, before I even move on. Look how big it is. Bro, y'all, hey, I'd, I'd be on, bro. I'd be on to y'all niggas. I had one of the longest days ever, bro. Let me tell you what happened, right? So, as most of y'all know, and I say this many times on my YouTube channel, back in the day, this is when I first came out of school. I was, I was 17, I believe. 2015, straight to 2017, I was traveling back and forth to my old man, my dad. He always had told me, hey, Christian, hey, once you stay, with like, once you, like, come to America, you can stay as long as you want, as long as it's not over six months, right? Big mistake. That's, that's one of the, that, that right there was one of the biggest mistakes I ever did in my life. I actually listened to him, right? So what I'll do, four months, five months, three months. If you're confused with what I'm saying, if my ticket was for May, I wouldn't come back until December. That makes sense? Like if my ticket return date say, hey, you gotta come back home May, I would come back December. Mainly because my dad said it was okay, you know? And me being the son, me being younger, me being the one who wasn't in America all this time, because my dad left us, as y'all know, when I was in eighth grade and he went to America. He was in America all this time. So me being younger, I listened to, I listened to him, you know, it's, it's cool. Okay. If you say, why don't you come back before six months, you know, that's what I would do. So I never stayed in America for six months. I stayed in America for five months, right? After traveling back and two forth, my dad, right? There was this last time I was trying to go to Maryland with some of my neighbors. Vacation, innocent vacation. I wasn't planning on seeing my dad. At that time, honestly, me and my dad wasn't even talking. You know what I mean? So I wasn't planning on doing nothing with my dad. All I had in my mind was to go to Maryland Maryland, have fun and, and just vacation and, and do everything. Now let me tell y'all what's going on, right? So I was in the airport. This was 2017, I believe. The dates could be wrong on my whole story, but I'm just telling y'all the dates, I think. This is 2017, I believe, right? This is after all those times I went to my dad, stayed over my flight ticket, right? So I went inside the airport, right? Hey, these customs officers in America, every time you try to explain your story to them, at least for me, that's how I've been my whole life. I'm going somewhere with the story. Every time I would try to explain something to them, they wouldn't want to hear my story. Like, before I even could finish my sentence, hey, stop, no, no, they don't want to hear nothing. That's how it is. That's how it is usually. They don't want to hear your story. It's like even sometimes they'll throw a story on your story. For example, let me give y'all something, right? This is actually on my record to this day. So as y'all know, I went to my dad, right? And everybody know I used to help my dad fix cars. My dad does not own a legitimate business. He literally posts stuff on Craigslist. Ask people, want your car fixed? Call me. My dad say, hey Christian, you want to buy something to drink? You want to buy little shoes with some Jordans? Help me put this tire on this car. So I would help him, right? So when I went to the customs officers in America, they had the audacity to tell me that I was working in, in America um, illegally. I was like, no, no, this ain't no real business. This ain't nothing like that. The man didn't even believe me. The man literally put that on my record. That on my record to this day. He put on my record, right? Christian was working in the United States illegally. So every time I traveled somewhere, that is brought up. Every time I traveled somewhere, like officers come out, pull me, they put me in the back, and they questioned me for hours and hours. Every time I travel, no matter if I go to an American state or Canada, and that's what happened today. I went to Canada, right? As y'all know, I'm in Canada now, thank God. As y'all know, I'm trying to go to Japan. That's what I legitimately want to do. I say, hey, Christian, I wanted to go to Japan for the longest time ago. Finally, yeah, I'm making my own money. I'm paying my mom bills so I can do what I want to do. I'm paying everything. I help and I pay her bills. So I can do what I want to do, you know what I mean? I'm paying that. Let me just do something for my birthday for once, you know what I mean? That's what I wanted to do. That was, that was legitimately legitimately what I wanted to do. So I came in Canada. When I went to the customs officer and he was a black guy, I was kind of happy. I was like, okay, that's my guy. You black, I black, you gonna help me. Like, don't even give me all them problems, right? As soon as I went to him, he was smiling at me. He said, oh, Christian, okay. You got a YouTube channel? Let me search it. Christian AMG, Google, it come up. Christian AMG. Okay, you right, all right. Because I'm trying to explain to them my story and explain to them my job. Because you know, when you go through customs, they ask you everything. Like, what you do for a living? Uh, How much money you make? How much money you carry in? Why are you traveling? What's your hotel? They ask you all kind of stuff just to 
make sure that they trying to make sure basically we ain't trying to be no immigrant in their country mainly that's mainly what customs office is for they don't want you come to their country illegally so their job is to stop that man i just went through it all the day bro luckily though i'm gonna make sure i say this there's this guy i do not know his name i wish i did there's this bald guy i trying to describe him as good as i because i want his superiors to see this video so like i say luckily i came across his customs officer this nigga was actually and sorry to call him a nigga you watching this video my bad i didn't even call you nigga that's not to call everybody so him honestly he was one of the best customs officers I ever came across. He was the only custom officer ever. And maybe it's because this is Canada instead of America. Because American custom officers, they like, they just do not want to hear your story. And like I say earlier, they'll pack on stuff to your story and put that on your record forever. You know what I mean? That'll be on my record forever. That Christian was working illegally in America. Which wasn't true. Like for example, if someone come to you, hey, hey, what's your name? You name say you name Roger. Someone come to you, Roger, hey, I give you $10 right now if you clean my shoes. If I go to America, they could tell me I work in them. They could tell you you working illegally. When you try to tell them no, it wasn't like that, they don't really listen to you. They don't really listen to what you got going on. They just put that on your record and not be on there forever. So now I have problems. I have deep problems traveling anywhere in the world, you know, especially Canada and America. Every time I go somewhere, I'm going to get stopped, get asked multiple questions, held up for hours and hours. You know what I mean? Which makes it also difficult to travel with people. Because if I get held up, they get held up. So uh, yeah, I came across this guy. I wish I knew his name, bro. I should have asked him his name. He was the nicest officer in the world. He actually took the time to verify my story. He actually listened to me for once. He ain't put nothing on my record that wasn't supposed to be on there because when you go to them customs people they'll put anything on your record just all that stuff on your record would just stop you from traveling ever you know it's like to be stuck in the bahamas forever bro that ain't good at all bro at all i wish i could find canada toronto canada the bald-headed guy um he's white please give him a raise if y'all if anybody superior to him watching this please you know what i mean because he's the only person ever that actually took the time out to actually listen to me for once and that's why i'm in canada right now at the moment what he did tell me though he said hey Okay, you could go to Japan, but them stuff with America put on your record, that's gonna maybe make them tell you that you can't get in Japan. So, I'm saying that to say, I'm going to Japan in the next few days, because I have a next layover again. I'm going to Japan in the next few days, right? Um, hopefully, let's say that. Uh, there's a good chance that when I get to Japan, the Japan custom officers is gonna see what America put on my, on my, on my record and stop me and tell me no, I can't come in. Because if I'm a rest of America, Japan gonna think, hey, I'm a, you, you risk to me. Hopefully, I could get through. You know what I mean? If not, this vlog is gonna be a, a, a disappointment vlog. Cause the, the title ain't even gonna be within the down video. Going to Japan, Christian Amji. Now, try to go to Japan. <laughs> That's what's gonna be, you know? But anyways, yeah, I just got my tattoo, hand tattoo. Uh, I'm gonna show you like videos and pictures or whatever. But I can tell lie, this hurt. Nigga, this hurt. This is probably my second most painful tattoo I ever had in my life. First is chest, then this. Like, my hand all swelled up, look. But, you know, shout out to that tattoo man who did my tattoo. He was cool, bro. Hey, this nigga gave me a ride straight to my hotel afterwards. Plus, he was off today. He actually came on so he could do my tattoo. Additional to that, this nigga was booked out last minute. I literally hit him up two days ago. He said, okay, wow. I off this day, I'm still coming on, I'm doing for you. Plus afterwards, like I said earlier, he gave me a ride to my hotel. So y'all gotta shut, y'all gotta just do something for him, bro. You know what I mean? If you just go and even like a picture, leave a comment, thank you. Send by Christian AMG or whatever. I'm gonna put his name in the video somewhere. He helped the trip get better than it actually was, because I was going through a lot, bro. This immigration stuff got me messed, up. man. I don't know, bro. Every time I try to travel somewhere, it's always a problem. <sighs> so it's morning. I'm about to head to the airport and go on my next flight. Yeah. Say, bro. Things just keep happening to me, bro. We only got inside the airplane, right? And literally, they took three hours 
just the leave from the floor, bro. This nigga literally came up on the motorcom like seven, eight times. Hey, we got a problem. Um, something frozen. Hey, we got a problem. Uh, he taking long to put in the fuel. Hey, we got a problem. The guy ain't come back with the fuel yet. Man, he's in that airplane for the longest, bro. So by that happening, it caused me to be late with my connecting flight. Meaning I'm in Montreal right now. There's no trips right now that is going to Tokyo. You know what I mean? From Montreal. So what they have to do? They have to send me back to Toronto, where I catch the flight from, bro. They gotta send me back to Toronto just to go to Tokyo again. So I gotta take a flight just to take a flight back to Tokyo, bro. Like I say, bro, everything just keep happening to me, bro. I ain't too worried. I mean, this for that, bro. You know what I mean? It ain't make no sense sitting down here and crying about it. But I gotta go back to Toronto. Uh, even when I get in Toronto, they say they was gonna give me a free hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I look up just now and they have one of those um, airport officers that's staring at me. Just, he was just staring me in my eyes like, what the hell you doing? A lot of people in the airport, I guess, are suspicious to them. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, like I say, I gotta go to Toronto. They're gonna give me a free hotel. Then I gotta go from Toronto to Tokyo. So I gotta be on this flight again, bro. You know what I mean? I get my bikes. I go to go and go to the hotel and chill there because tomorrow my flight is for 1 o'clock p.m. So I have a long time to wait. There my bag is, bro. <laughs> they just throw my bag on. <laughs> they just toss my bag on the floor. Christ, Gilbert, <laughs> Tokyo. Yeah, it's my bag for sure. All right. So now uh, I head to my hotel, fully paid for by Air Canada. You know what I mean? Because they delayed the hell of my flight. I'm outside just waiting on a bus. I tell y'all niggas not very cold. <laughs> I had to throw in this jacket real quick before I start on you But yeah, um, the woman just told me it's a bus that says Radisson on the side of it. That's my hotel bus. That's gonna take me to my hotel. Hold on, you put on these gloves though. Because right now, bruh, it's too cold for me. Service menu, order room service. And I can do the zone that get my room? Yep. Okay. 16? Yep, search for it. I need to run a car. Third floor, I think he said. <sighs> okay, room 316. Is it this way? Like don't damn work. Oh, they got lamps. Okay, bye. I don't. We got all these damn lamps. Shoot. They ain't got no damn light bill. I mean, they got light bill, but hey, I'm paying for it. <laughs> That's their problem, not mine. I want light, nigga. We got light everywhere. Man, I can live here, bro. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> Service. <laughs> I'm so full right now, bro. I was here watching, y'all know, classic Dexter. I used to watch Dexter when I was young, bro. I was like this height, nigga, off the floor. I was young, bro. But yeah, um, I just took out the bandage, by the way, for the tattoo. Moisturize it. Got a little bit of white inside there. But yeah, it's a cool looking tattoo. It's a rose. Uh, another one. Yeah. It has a nice detail one, too. Anyways, I'm about to go to bed Um, in a minute. My flight leaves to Tokyo tomorrow at... 1 45 p.m. I'm gonna get there by 10 o'clock 10 40 around that so hopefully like I said a million times in this one video I'd be able to get in Tokyo bro I wouldn't have no problems you know what I mean because Japan customs the last customs I gotta touch we have to go through before I say okay I'm in Japan let's, let's start doing Japan stuff let's start this vlog actually because the vlog ain't really started yet bro it's supposed to be a Japan vlog you know what I mean but there's so much things I end up having to do and having to pay for and having to go through you know what I mean anyways bro I hope it's all worth it you know like I say I'm I'm in, where am I? I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm in Canada at the moment. See y'all niggas in Japan.
I'll see y'all niggas on the way to Japan. Peace. Yes, Just got my boarding ticket. I'm about to head off to gate B53, I believe. And that's where I'm gonna wait for my flight to Tokyo. Finally, bro. <laughs> I must say bruh, Ocha is beautiful bruh They got like a whole different side that basically says like China or Japan when you get back here Like for real for real There's a whole different side of Canada like you'll basically think You'll think you're in Tokyo What's going on? Hey, I try to figure it out though. It's hard. Even though they got like, you know, English translations and stuff like that, you know, I can read the signs. But then even still, when you read the signs, it's still lost, you know? I learned about an hour ago. I just been walking around just confused, bro. Like, bro, where you go? You know? I got a pocket Wi Fi. I've been watching YouTube videos before I came to Japan. It's the first things that they said to do. Make sure you get the pocket Wi Fi. Make sure you get some money. I'm not even gonna even try to take the train today. I feel like that's gonna be too stressful. I'm gonna catch a taxi to my hotel. <laughs> So, bro, I had one of the worst days I had <laughs> in a very long time. <laughs> I had one of the worst first days anybody could possibly have. Let me tell you how it went. So, as you all know, before I came to Japan, I watched countless videos on what to do in the airport. So, you know, I wouldn't be as lost. But as soon as I got in the airport, I was lost. You know what I mean? Because this is a predominantly Japanese-speaking country, that wasn't really necessarily the problem when I got inside the airport. Because, yes, they did have English translations. But you still, I, it's, it's still not... You're still confused, bro. I still was confused, bro. I just still was lost, bro. That's just how it is when you come to Japan. At least for me, at least, you know? Still confused, you know what I mean? And one of the worst things that could ever happen to you when you lost in Japan or when you're just confused is for you to have no battery life on your phone, bro. Yes, my battery was dead. <clears throat> Y'all hear that? This weather making me sick. I swear to God. But hey, let's not skip there. Let's go back to the start. So, like I say, in the uh, Narita, I don't know if I'm saying that correct. I'm in the Narita airport. Confused, bro. <laughs> what any normal person, Englishman would do, it'd be like, hey, I lost. Let me go on Google. I start going to Google, you know what I mean? Two, well, three. Three TV reporters came up to me. Microphone, camera, and everything. Hey, we work for this television. They speak Japanese. They had a translator with them. It's a woman speaking Japanese, right? And then it was a man who translated the Japanese to English for me. Then it was a cameraman. I don't think he speak. English. She'd be like, and I'm looking at her like, then I would look at the translator because I don't know what she's saying. But she said, like, then the man be like, oh, she said hi. I'd be like, god damn. <laughs> I'd be like, god damn, all that is hi. Man, they speak the longest for a couple of words, bruh. Oh, she said, what's up? Every time he would translate something from her, for me, I would look at the camera and say, because I know how this TV stuff work. It was like, ting, 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 ting. she said hi. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, hey. Uh, Krishna Amji. My name's Krishna Amji. I'm in Japan. Um, first time in Japan. First time out of the Bahamas, really, or out of the United States. I'm chilling. I'm trying to, not really chilling, but I'm working. I had my camera on my neck, by the way. Long story short, they started looking through my YouTube channel and stuff like that. I got the footage of that, as y'all know. I'm in a hotel. I'm in one, well. <laughs> Anyways, I got through customs. Uh, yeah, bro. They didn't ask me a goddamn thing. Not one. Hey, let me show you exactly what they did. And he spoke good English. He was like, uh, yeah, so what you coming to Japan for? I say, yeah, tourism. That's it? Yeah, and shoot videos too. Oh, okay. 
Thank you. Go. That was it. That's the easiest I ever went through customs in my entire life. I guarantee you all that. That's the easiest, bro. Even in my mind, I was like, that's it. <laughs> you know? Because every time I come through customs, police come in the back of me, and they put me in the next room, and then they ask me more questions. Every time, bro. That been happening to me for years now. Since America put that first thing on my, you know? So, when I got through that easy, I was like, in my mind. Because I don't say it all loud. If I say it all loud, that's when I go it's going to be suspicious. I was like, Okay, okay. I grabbed my bag and I just went. Here, I get out of here before they think of something. Everybody know me, bro. I'm not a criminal, bro. So I follow the signs. I keep walking outside. Then snow. But what is different about Japan weather, at least yesterday, because it's not snowing at the moment. What is different about it? It was snowing and raining at the same time. I didn't even know that was a thing until I got in Japan. And for some reason, as soon as it started raining, it's like everybody had an umbrella but me. I was like, where the hell everybody got this umbrella from? <laughs> is it free somewhere? Because ain't no way everybody got the same umbrella. Everybody. That was just horrible, bro. 20 degrees weather, snowing and raining at the same time. Me, only a hoodie on, only got this little jacket. I have nothing. I have no clothes for the winter. Nothing. Because I live in the Bahamas. I don't own stuff like that. We don't wear stuff. If you wear something like that in the Bahamas, you'll die. Heat stroke, you know? So I don't own nothing like that. Walking. Y'all may think I over-exaggerating. But I was walking the streets for another four hours, bro. Lost. Confused, bro. My phone is dead at this moment now. My phone has fully died. I have no way to figure where my hotel was. My camera was completely dead. Once more, not exaggerating. I felt like, in my mind, today is probably the last day I'm going to have some of my fingers. Because it was in pain how cold it was. Like, my feet toes and my fingers this is the most pain i went through ever in my life i'm gonna get some kind of frostbite in my fingers i'm gonna lose a finger bro because that's how much in pain it was i walked the streets trying to figure out where my hotel was i said okay i give up i can't find my hotel i said okay what i'm gonna do now let me think christian think let me see if i can find somewhere where i can charge my phone in japan they got nowhere and i looked for hours i was out there for hours walking in the rain and snow at the same time with only just jacket on that's all i got hands like i can't even move it at this point it's just a cold i ain't used to at all bro i'm walking hours and hours Hours and hours. After a few hours walking around, I was like, I give up. I stand up on the streets for like 30 minutes trying to figure out, okay, what do people do to get around? Taxi. So what I started doing, I started waving taxi down. And let me tell you niggas something. Them taxi men look in my face and drive straight past me. Every time, bro. They would not stop for me. None of them. I put my hand up. Hey, hey, hey. They would look at me. The taxi man look at me, right? Turn his head and keep driving. There was a Japanese man that waved him down. Then the Japanese man got inside the car. I was like, you wrong for that, bro. <laughs> and you know, I was mad at the same time because my fingers felt like it was about to fall off. So I felt like if a taxi man don't come for me soon, I would have lose a finger because it was that serious, bro. And we've been down taxis. Everybody looking at me, turning their head and just keep going. So after about an hour, and literally I meant an hour, out there, finally one stopped for me. Now, this one that stopped for me didn't know a lick of English. No English at all. This older man. He's like, I'm like, hey, so I'm going to this hotel. My hotel name is the Apa Hotel. I'm going to the Apa Hotel. And he's like, he keep doing he, like that's what he keep doing. I'm like, can I say hotel? Then he said, yeah, 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 hotel, hotel. He don't know a lick of English, bro. So after a while, he put on his flip phone. He had a flip phone, and he called somebody. Then he gave the phone to me, right? Because I'm guessing he's calling somebody who speaks English. The thing is, when he gave the phone back to me, he spoke perfect English. Let me show what he did. He went like this. Okay, talk to us. He speak perfect English. I was like, hold on, wait, wait, get it. All of a sudden, burst of English. Come from. I talked up. She's like, hello, uh, where you like to go? I like to go to the Apa Hotel Shinzuku. I've been asking people to stop. No one will stop for me. I'm trying to get there. Please help me. To say the least, bro, I had a horrible day. She's like, yeah, okay, can I speak to the driver? I give him back the phone. They're speaking in Japanese now. He put the address in the thing. Then he took me to my hotel. Now, I'm to the hotel now. She was like, we booked. All the rooms booked. Your reservation is for tomorrow at 3 p.m. So I'm like, oh man. And once more, these fingers felt like it was gone. So I'm thinking I'm about to be homeless for the night. When I saw the hotel, which is nearby, which is Hotel Gracery. It was like a five minute walk away from the upper hotel where I was at. I'm back in this cold weather. I'm walking fast. I got my two bags with me. That's what made being lost worse. I finally get in the hotel. Japanese lady walks up to me. Hey, you got a room? I said, no, no, please. I need a room for the night. You need something for the night. I need to lay in a bed. I need, I need warmth. <laughs> You know, I paid for a night and that's where I am right now. It led me to not be homeless tonight because I could have not stayed in the streets no longer than I did. I have to check out 11 a.m. My another hotel is the hotel which is a five minute walk away. But yeah, this is my hotel view. Beautiful, bro. It looks like something you see in a movie. When I saw this view, I was even like, bro, I should try cancel my next hotel and stay here. I love this view. This is Shinzuku, Tokyo. Y'all see the same area right between there? That same walkway they're going through right now. When I was in the taxi, going through that 
little area right there. I saw they had like the girls on the window. They had like prices for the girls. There's the guy in the front. You pick a girl, point to the girl you want. They carry you in the back, right? And that's when you that's what you do. You do that. Yeah. I'ma just enjoy this view for now. Um make sure I repack my bags because everything in my bag. Everything in my bags is wet. When I get out there tomorrow, or in a few hours basically, I'm gonna go look for a jacket. I'm gonna see y'all in the morning. I'm guessing these are all the Godzilla movies that were made from 1954 straight to 2015. That's a lot of Godzilla, bro. <laughs> I have on a hoodie. Seven shirts right now, bro. I got on one pants, though. <laughs> and I got on these mitts. It's like 20 something, 30 something degrees right now, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. This area here, warm, bro. Because I got on a whole seven shirts. Face cold, hands, okay? Feet kind of cold. But let's head on down to this. Um, I have to walk. Let's head on down to this place. Let's buy some winter clothes, bro. I need to be able to walk around comfortable. You know, that's the only way I can be able to enjoy the trip. So let me get these bags and let's start that walk. Japan is a beautiful place, bro. At night, you can really see like the real beauty in it. You know what I mean? Everything be like lit up at night. I still try to look for this damn store. I'm right just standing up. This is one of the only spots I got to stand up and be warm. You know what I mean? I'm in one of the sunniest spots of this whole area. Living in the Bahamas, you always say, man, this hey, too much damn sun. But then when you get the cold, it's different. You know what I mean? You be like, bro, I don't need this cold no more, bro. This cold is a little bit too much for me, bro. That's why I gotta stand in the sun. And the thing is about Japan, you can scream out <laughs> random stuff, and most likely they ain't gonna understand what the hell you saying. Everything just tall and everything just colorful. Every building out here got a screen. Anyway, so. I didn't make my way. Can I take a picture with you? So, I know you. you know me? Where? Kylie Jenner. <laughs> I, I do know you. Video, really? No. Oh so they just pull up on me say they know me from the Travis Scott video. Yeah. I didn't think y'all know me honestly. I guess I do got fans in every country. <laughs> they speak English. English. Oh, what I should have do is tell them, send me the picture. Dummy. I gotta post it on my Instagram. Where they at? I think I'm nearby now, bruh. I'm gonna figure it out, though. I finally found it, bruh. Unique <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, though. Only thing is, though, they don't look like they sell clothes in there. All I see is teddy bears in the front window, you know? But hey, I'm gonna go inside anyways. All I need is one jacket, and I'll be good. That's what I want, bro. I've been wanting to upgrade my camera for a long time. This is the one I want. Ben did my research. This is the one I want, right here. 517, 600. I'm spending basically five thousand dollars for this right here. You know what I mean? But hey, I'm a carpet though. That's the investment to my my life basically. I'm gonna buy it. Let me call somebody. Hey, you free? I wanna get it. Oh, okay. You know what I also need? What I always been struggling to get? I need some more batteries for my camera. That way, if something dies when I'm on the go, when I'm don't have a chance to actually charge it, that'd be nice. So a battery charger, some batteries with that, some SD cards. Card. Five percent discount from this price. Let me get it. Baby, you're coming on with me, bro. You're coming on with me. I need it. My life is complete now. I still need some batteries though. Canon batteries. Yeah, battery and body chargers. So, this one? Yeah, the video mic pro. The black one. Can I get that one right now? I'm getting everything, bro. <laughs> Mics, memory cards, batteries. And I got a whole squad to help me out. But right now, I'm about to spend like $8,000, bro. Just on camera equipment. Man, oh man. One battery and charger and also another battery. So, two battery and one charger. Thank you. I should be good with camera equipment for the rest of the year or the rest of the, my YouTube career ever. Thank you. And now I'm out. Japan is a beautiful place, bro. That guy just walked past and like, hey, cool shoes, bro. Thank you. You know what I mean? Sunlight, little Samsung. Anyways, yeah. This whole thing I'm gonna need to hurry up because I need to get this stuff in this room, bro. I just tied a walk. I've been walking around with these bags. For the past, I've been walking around with these bags <laughs> since Bahamas, bro. There's holding these bags everywhere I go. You know that, like, with Japan, like, you don't be conscious of people watching you and stuff, you know, because people don't even speak English. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they got people that speak English, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people don't, so you don't even be caring what people be saying. Like, I could be all this. You know, I can do all of that and don't even care what, like the people looking at me because I'm like, hey, this is probably the last time they're gonna see me ever in life again, anyway. So why even worry about that? 
I know that that guy is not even look at me. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga, that nigga ain't even look at me just now. But basically, that's what I mean, you know what I mean? You don't really be scared of doing what you want to do over here. Hello, customer service. Look at that view, bruh. That is a view. That is beautiful. Look at that. Like, it's so beautiful, right? It look fake. You know what I mean? It look like something like you see on movies, but it's real, bruh. Tokyo is a beautiful place, bruh. Anyways, though, um, I gotta go to the bottom floor. I'm on the 27th floor. This hotel got all kind of floors, bruh. Floors and floors and floors. 27 floors, and I'm not even on the highest floor. I didn't lie, though. This new camera, I'm filming with the new camera now. I know it see them all crispier. This one right here, this camera ain't no joke at all. I letting y'all niggas know. I got a mic hook up to this. I gotta go buy a battery for this mic real quick. And yeah, I should be good. Got my jacket, you know what I mean? I come prepared, bro. The clothes I bought today, I'm wearing it right now. You know what I mean? I just feel more nicer now. I'd be able to walk the streets and not feel uncomfortable, you know? But I'm about to head up to this family mark right here. And buy some batteries for this mic. Okay, good. I got uh, my mic set up. I got my camera set up. Now I'm about to head off right now. Uh, um, the shoe place. I'm about to pick out oh, some kicks I should buy. You know what I mean? Because everywhere I go, uh, at least once a month, what I've been doing usually, it's not something I've been planning on doing, but what I notice I've been doing is uh, once a month, I'd be buying like one or two shoes, one or two new kicks. You know what I mean? I've been stocking up on my kicks recently. So, yeah, let's head off and pick out a few kicks for this month. You see that red uh, thingy over the thing? That's called the red light district. I saw it all over. You know what I mean? The internet. There's just been a place I always wanted to go. Just look at all the people, bro. Japan got one of the highest populations in the world. I learned on Google as well. <laughs> like I learned everything. But there it is, bro. There it is. I didn't even know if like the shoe store like in this direction. But I just, <laughs> I just needed to go here. To walk through here. Just to say I did. I wish someone was here for me, bro. I want a picture here, you know? Like me just standing in the middle. Someone just taking my picture real quick. It's like this whole place just light up, bro. You know what I mean? It's a whole different place at night than in the morning time. And people running, bro. People over here be walking vigorously. You gotta walk with some authority when you come over here, bro. He black. Oh, hell no. I gotta walk next to this nigga. Shoes. I'ma check it out. Okay. I'm trying to see if I'm feeling any of these, bro. That's not too bad. I'm kind of feeling this one. I'm kind of feeling this one, honestly. Kind of. I like it, but I don't love it. This is also different. I like this. I don't know. Ain't nothing that I'm really in love with, you know? It's a certain place, right? It had like three or four different shoe stores and like in the same area, bro. Look how beautiful it get at night, bro. At night, everything just lights up. Man, I got a chill right here. Use my phone and make sure I go in the right direction. Okay. This way. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, they're saying to go straight up this way. This camera's heavy. There's no vlog camera at all. But if I want good footage, like clear footage, <laughs> this is what I gotta do. I'll take the sacrifice, you know what I mean? I don't masturbate my left hand anyway. So that would be something good, you know what I mean? To get my left hand straight up. I hold the camera on my left hand. I never hold the camera on my right hand. Never, never. It's either both or my left hand. So to make up for all those years <laughs> and years, this is gonna get my left hand in shape as well. Wait, what? I have to go. This way, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Be about to buy one or two, <laughs> the most. <laughs> you saying Kirk Franklin? What is what, what Japanese number Kirk Franklin? Honestly though, I see a couple I like, feeling. I'm thinking I should get an Air Force and just something else after that. I'm thinking it's kind of cool, honestly. This black and beige one. I think it's gonna be one of my pickups. I love this. It's cool. I'm gonna get this small though, because I don't like Air Force when they're too big. Let me go upstairs. Apparel footwear upstairs. Let me see what they got up here. Uh, basically the same thing. Basically. What's up? Hello. So where you at? Oh, I'm in the Nike place. I'm trying to pick up some shoes. What kinds they got? Any of these you like? I like those white ones right there. White ones? I actually picked them up too. Okay. I kind of feeling them. I'm gonna pick out some real quick though. I like these, bro. 
I like these. I may pick up one more before I buy them ones. Let me check it out real quick to make sure. Uh, you like any of these? You want it? Pick something you know? You don't like nothing? Oh lord. I'm trying to buy Murga some shoes. This is hard because they literally have no sizes that Murga wear. Nothing. Keep both the check and see if you can find one in your size. She said the smallest size is six and a half. Oh hell. I can look somewhere else for you. Let me just get the red one for me. I got them, bruh. Let me go buy something for the girlfriend. I'm about to go on Google real quick and find sneaker stores near me. I'm about to head to Adidas. And that's gonna be my last stop. They close in a couple minutes, so here I rush in there real quick and see if I can find something for the girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> like I say, never been to Adidas, fine. I'm about to buy me and the girl some new Yeezys, bruh. I'm gonna surprise her with some of these expensive as hell, but she deserves it. The easiest, and now I head home. That's enough spending for the dime. Like, I ain't spending that tough like that no more in Japan. Uh uh. All I buy for now on is food. Okay, so day one was basically <laughs> trauma. Day two, shopping. Day three, we'll see when we see. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I bought you. I bought you some of these. Oh my god. You like them? I love them. I bought some for me too. Yeah, we matching, matching. Love you. Oh, y'all check out the view. Beautiful view, my guy. Beautiful view. You know what I mean? Beautiful view, bro. Tomorrow, we got more adventures to go through. I guess we gonna see when we see. Because, you know, literally all these days, I don't know what I'm gonna do until I wake up and be like, okay, let's do that today. Uh, so yeah. Good morning, everybody. You know what I mean? It's, what's the day's date? Hold on, wait. It's February 2nd, Saturday, 1.23 p.m. in Japan right now, Shinzuku, Japan. That's where I'm at. And today, I thought I'd do something different. Uh, something, uh, yeah, something different for this video. You know what I mean? First of all, if you look around me, literally everybody is on their phone. Look, everybody, everybody. What they doing now in this area here, they're playing this Japanese game. I don't know what the game is, but when I first came here, I realized there was this certain song I keep hearing everywhere, and that was the game song. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like I would hear this little, it's song anime-ish, that's that song. So I literally walked around, said, what everybody doing on their phone? I walk around looking at people's phone trying to be nosy, and that's what everybody was doing. Everybody was just playing this game. I guess it's like Pokemon Go. I don't know how the game work at all, I'll be honest with y'all. But everybody in the same area, and everybody outdoors. So maybe it's a game you gotta play outdoors, I'm assuming. So anyways though, like I say, it's a new day. I thought I'd do something different for this video you know what I mean something <laughs> Japan like today's gonna be my I guess my Japan day but I try different stuff Japanese people do or I eat different stuff Japanese people eat well the first time it off I decided to dress like how a normal <laughs> Japanese stylist person would look like you know what I mean I wish I had someone to hold the camera so I could show my whole fit I'm gonna look for somebody to hold the camera <laughs> so I can show y'all the whole fit. Uh, let me see who looks like they know what they're doing with the camera. If I just let them hold the camera, I'll do this <laughs> so they can know, you know what I mean? Because if I speak English to them, I ain't know they can know what I'm talking about. Like, say, video, video. Hold on, let me ask somebody. Oh, a black guy. He behind me. Y'all see him? Oh, yeah, that's my boy. Every time I see someone black, I be like, oh, damn, nigga. <laughs> I'd be so happy when I see someone black. Y'all niggas don't know. When you come in Japan, I think I said this before. When you come in Japan, you appreciate black people so much more, bro. Because all you see is Asians, you know? I see this guy right over there. He look like he ain't really doing too much right now. Let me ask him. Hey, How are you? you don't speak English? No. He said I don't speak English. Hold on, wait. Let me go on my app. Let me see if I can talk to him through this. I got an app where I can translate English to Japanese. Let me see. Can you use my camera and take a video of my outfit? Wow. I know. Okay, let me ask someone else. I need to look for someone young. Someone, you know, who got the time just to do my outfit real quick so I can show everybody like I really dress and like how people over here dress. All right, I got this. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it say, can you use my camera and take a quick full body video with my camera? No, that's too much camera in that one sentence. Can you use my camera and take a quick full body video of my outfit, please? It will be a few seconds. What I need to do right for this one, I should try walk up to somebody and try speak the language. <laughs> you know, instead of showing them the phone like, hey, can you do this? I should try learn the language real quick. Walk up to somebody and ask him. So let's try that. Let me hear it out real quick. Oh hell no, I gotta show him the phone. Video, just hold it like I'm standing there, make sure full body. Uh, 
Alright, good. <laughs> I got it. And that's my Japanese outfit. And I start to be like, you know, make sure I get everything in the shot one time. I think honestly, people over here dress good. I don't know. They dress cool over here. Like, let me show y'all some people. Like, just some random people. I'm gonna record them secretly. <laughs> you know. <laughs> See what I mean? They just dress different over here, you know, and it's kind of cool. Guess where I'm at? <laughs> Again. Big camera, my paradise in Japan, bro. So they got all the electronics, everything, you know what I mean? Camera wise for my work and stuff, you know what I mean? And I wanted to get this. I wanted to get that chest mount thing for my GoPro. Because I plan on doing something extra special tomorrow. I didn't go today for a reason, you know what I mean? You'll see when I get there. So I'm gonna need to get that real quick. You got it, bro. So I just figured out how basically coins work in Japan. I mean, they try to buy these little sodas or whatever these are, drinks inside the store. And the man literally went through the whole thing with me because the thing cost $2.23 for both, right? Which basically is 223 yen. So basically, I had all kind of coins. I pulled them out and he started to show me like, hey, okay, this is 10, this five, this $1. They don't have $1 actual bills in Japan. They have like coins that means $1. 100 yen is $1. So I just learned that. But like I said earlier, I advise anybody coming to Japan. If you have Chase, I have Chase. I don't know how other banks work in Japan, but my Chase work perfectly. Everywhere I go, I use my Chase card. And I think it's better to use your card. That way, they won't swing you. You know what I mean? Because if you go to a taxi or anywhere where you pay money, if the person want to take more money from you, they will. Because you don't know better. You know what I mean? You don't know. Okay, he taking more money than he should. You understand? You wouldn't know. So, it's best to use your card. So, you can see how much he's taking off. You can look at it. Then you can look at the thing and be like, okay, that's that. If that makes sense. But yeah, it's been hours now. <laughs> I keep getting distracted by stuff. I wanted to try this little juice Fanta thing. I know y'all ain't got this in America, bro. You definitely ain't got this in the Bahamas. This thing thick as hell, bro. This sort of got body of this world, bro. Body for days. <laughs> y'all see my lips, though? My lips all crusty up. I've been putting chopstick on my lips because, bro, this cold just been chewing my lips out. Honestly. Yeah, that's different. It tastes more like gum. Also, while I'm just sitting here and drinking, in Japan, it's considered bad manners if you walk around and eat or walk around and drink. You gotta like stay in one spot. No, nobody would walk up to you and cuss you out and be like, what the F you doing? They wouldn't do that to you. But you would get a lot of dirty looks. They look at you like, let me try to break it down. It's the equivalent to them. Like if you was in America, right? And you had this big bowl of pasta. You throw it on the ground, right? Leave the mess everywhere and just walk away. That's the equivalent to them. It's like kind of nasty to them. You know what I mean? So every time you eat or drink, you got to make sure you stand in one spot. Now you could carry it around in your hand. That's fine. But if you eating it or drinking it, you got to stand in one spot or stay in one spot. That's how it is. So yeah, <laughs> it's a part of the culture. Today is Japan day. <laughs> the day where I basically be Japanese for the day. So I got to make sure I stick to the Japanese culture. I'm not drinking. Wow. Walking. Let me put this next Coke in my bag. I gotta also put this in my bag. In Japan, they barely got garbages, bro. Barely. Like you can't even find a garbage in a store, bro. Let me do that real quick. I have my own photographer. <laughs> he just walked up to me, asked me if I want some pictures. I said, okay, sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he's like uh some kind of like street photographer, you know. That's me. Yeah, so whenever you have the chance, if you can send me the pictures to that Instagram, I'll post them. Okay. If you want to get tied too, I'll just tag you. Same time. Yeah. And that's that. They got some nice cars down here too, bro. They may gotta walk up on them and ask me, let me hold up on that real quick. So I'm like. That's nice too. That's nice. <laughs> I like this song. It's my favorite song, actually. That's my favorite song, bro. I know that song. Fun fact about that song: Migos was actually in that song, but the the original um that just song. I just letting y'all know, spin y'all facts that most people don't know about that song. Migos was actually in that song when the song first came out. You know what I mean? But then the artist um she originally uh she originally cut on Migos part out of the song, so that's why I, everybody know that song. Oh 
chairs, cool man. A lot of big screens, a lot of people, a lot of colors. <laughs> That's basically what Tokyo is. Like I say many times, bro, the camera don't do it no justice. How it really looks, you know what I mean? You gotta come in person to see it. People in Japan love their anime games, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got a whole line straight off. Everybody just playing it, bro. And I mean everybody. I got distracted again. Tools is the only thing that could distract me. Always and always. Like I say, nah, I ain't really looking to spend money. Especially on shoes again. They get a lot of vines. Vines you wouldn't see anywhere in the world, honestly. I think I'm up to pop them, bro. It's cool, too. I'm gonna check them in my size. And these. No white ones. I just tried them on. Eh, they look good, but they basic looking. I'm gonna try them the green one. I like these, bro. Like it ugly, good looking at the same time. You know? If that makes sense. It's ugly, good looking at the same time. These are cough cough. We got it, bro. You understand? Know yeah. Well, they told me to go downstairs. He said to go downstairs, check out their clothes. It looks like they have a lot of high beast stuff in here. A lot of Supreme and stuff. A lot of Supreme and Balenciagas and stuff like that in here. A lot of good shoes, honestly. Let's see if any of them, the price I care about though. $600. <laughs> 1,000 on American. 1,600. What about these big ugly boots? I never liked these shoes, bro. But this black one ain't look that bad to me, honestly. These are basically a thousand dollars. I'm about to go, go. Yeah, they look good, sure. They probably may be cheaper than American prices, but you know what I mean? Even though I could afford them, I think it's a good decision to buy. Cause, bro, I don't think I can ever go and spend a thousand dollars for some shoes. What I need to do now is go and try some Japanese food. That should be next on my bucket list. I'm gonna search on Google what's like some of the best Japanese food around here. Go there, and that's where I'm gonna eat for the day, basically. Japanese food, near me. Let me sit down real quick and check and see basically. Find one probably close to my hotel so that way I ain't got to do a lot of walking afterwards, you know? Cause I'm already tired now, bro. I heard a lot of people saying Yeezys was comfortable. In my opinion, they ain't not comfortable to me. In my opinion, I felt Jordan's more comfortable than Yeezys. Honestly, I mean, they look good, sure, but they ain't not comfortable to me. Hey, but what I may do, I may take off these shoes and change it to the shoes I bought, honestly. The toe area is what sucks. All my toes feel good except my big toe. I don't have a long nail on my big toe. But damn, bro, my big toe in pain. Both of the shoes. Let me do it right now, bro, because this killing me. I love you, but you put me in pain, bro. That's more like it, bro. That is more like it. <sighs> I feel so much better, bro. So I'm looking for some kind of Japanese restaurant. There's a lot, to be honest. So I'm close nearby. I'm just trying to figure out which one, you know what I mean? Because if it's my first Japanese restaurant ever, I need to go to the right one. You know, because first impressions is a lot. Like I say, bro, it's a lot of choices. And all of them are literally <laughs> right next door. All of them are literally right next door to each other, bro. We got like 10, 12, 15 stars just lying up. Just Japanese restaurants. I'm gonna try something though. I need to pick one soon. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. Hmm. I'm thinking of this one. I see a lot of meat, and meat is what I go for. I see a lot of meat, and meat is what I like. I'm allergic to seafood, so sushi, all that kind of stuff I can't eat unless I'm trying to die. But, you know, I like what I see. Cool. You can't speak Japanese? No. Oh. Do you know Izakaya? Is it Izakaya? Down there? Yeah. Where are you from? Bahamas. Oh, no. Yak chicken barbecue. Right? Maybe the Kobe beef steak. It's amazing. The beef pork chicken. Very nice here. Sash salada. The chicken tempura, vegetable tempura, everything. Okay. Okay, I'll try that. Down there? No I don't smoke. No. Really? Only beef pepper, please. <laughs> Just open. Everything is Izakaya. Izakaya? Izakaya, yes. Okay. Izakaya for English is the bar restaurant drink and food. Izakaya. Izakaya? Izakaya, yes. That's the name of it. Yeah, okay. He told me to say bar, restaurant, drink, food. Izakaya. Izakaya. Yeah. Izakaya. Yeah. Drink, you want some the beer, yeah. whiskey, wine? Fanta? Got a Fanta? Fanta. What kind? Apple, peach, grapefruit, orange, and carpet. Peach. The peach Fanta, yes. Yeah. The peach Fanta, man. Yeah, I don't really want no alcohol. I don't really drink like that. Chopsticks. I do not know how to use chopsticks, but I'm going to learn today. My first time having Japanese food. I think I may ask him to show me something that tastes good, that's not seafood, you know? Can you show me, like, the stuff that would you recommend? 
recommend? I recommend the Kobe beef steak. It's so good. Amazing. Okay. We recommend that one that. Kobe beef steak. Okay. Yeah. Kobe beef steak. Kobe beef steak. Tepang yaki. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try this one. The vegetable appetizer. This is a vegetable. You eat that with chopsticks? Yeah. I don't know how to use chopsticks, but I'm gonna try it. Yes, please. And what's on the steamed rice? Yeah, I get right. Yeah, the small size or big size? Small. Small, thank you. Yeah. One Kobe beef steak and one small rice. Thank you. First time using chopsticks, this is gonna be a breeze. Let's try it, friend. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I got it. How you doing it? Okay, <laughs> thank you. Let me see how they found the taste. Oh, damn. That tastes good. I'm gonna need more of this, honestly. We definitely don't got this in the Bahamas. Can I get more? Yeah, one more. Yeah, but it tastes good. But, uh, okay, do y'all got the Bahamas? I could give you a Bahamas bill. For that team spot right there, for the space? This is ten dollars. You gonna stick it up? I'm gonna watch him stick it up. I gave him a whole ten dollars. Ten dollars, behemoth money. I don't know. I feel like he'll enjoy it more than I will. You know, cause I can't spend that until I get home, anyways. And to be honest, I never use cash room. I use my card only. Let's watch him stick it up, though. What's up? Thank you, my friend. Uh, but yeah, I've got my food. Japanese food, bro. This is hard. Chop six is hard, I must say. What the hell? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Hold on, I get it. Don't worry. I got this. Hold on, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Got it. Hold on, wait. I got this. Mm -hmm. it tastes good. This is good. Do they eat rice with this? Do they eat rice with chop six? How do they eat the rice? I don't know. Do you eat do you eat this the rice do you eat this with this? If y'all are wondering how the rice tastes, they make the rice fresh. If y'all know what I mean. For the black people that are watching this video, they make it fresh. You know? So if you want that season, you order luck. Because coming to Japan, they do not put salt and pepper on the table. They do not. That's enough for me, bro. I've had my Japanese food, but for the first time, I must say, it do taste good. The rice, I'm not too fond of in Japan, you know what I mean? It ain't like black people rice, though. You understand? Well, it tastes nice and seasoned. So, yeah, now I head back to my hotel. Japanese day is finally completed. Dress like a Japanese, eat like a Japanese. I even tried to talk Japanese for a quick second today. Well, I did talk to a Japanese today, but I used to translate up. Same thing. So, I talk like a Japanese, eat like a Japanese, dress like a Japanese. So, I did it all, bro. Tomorrow is a new day. So, tomorrow is a whole new adventure. Arigato. <laughs> That's the only Japanese word I know, nigga. <laughs> yeah. to my hotel that is my hotel i like that everything is right next to my hotel bro everything is next to my hotel good night japan talk to y'all tomorrow hey, stop, bro. In the house. bro thanks for showing me i should go take out my hair today and go walk around we'll see so my hair is loose i'm gonna walk around my hair like this and we're gonna see hundred people stopping it.